Golden Radio Hour. and pass those Kellogg's Corn Pops. Cause here comes Guy Madison as Wild Bill and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Corn Pops! <laughs> Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. <laughs> When Wild Bill Hickok and his pal Jingles rode toward the little town of Flat Rock City, they had a warning that their old friend Pappy Sparks was headed for real trouble. But Pappy wasn't worried about it as he sat in the railroad station teaching his grandson Clay how to send a message on the early day telegraph. That's it, boy. That's it. There. How'd they do, Pappy? Clay, boy, you did just fine. Just like I taught you. You got that message through without a single mistake. Boy, oh boy, sending messages on the telegraph. Hey, can I do it again sometime, Pappy? <laughs> sure thing, Clay. But now you're going to do some practicing on that bugle of mine. You're going to learn all those army calls just as well as I know them. And... Hey, Pappy? Yeah, boy? Is Wild Bill Hickok really coming to Flat Rock City? Of course he is. I sent for him myself. We gotta have somebody around here who's man enough to cope with that sidewinder Pete Jennings and his gang. And I'll get to meet him personally? And shake his hand, boy. You sure will. Hi, Pappy. Hello, Clay. Oh, hello, Sheriff. Yeah. What do you want around here, Sheriff? Now, don't act so all fired grumpy to me, Pappy, just because I ain't going out single-handed and trap that Jennings gang. Yeah, if I was younger, just a few years, mind you, I wouldn't be sitting around here like you are. I'd be out after them hombres. It's suicide to go after them men alone, and if you wasn't so stubborn, you'd know it. I'd go after them if I could get a posse together. But you can't get a man in this town to ride after the Jennings gang. And to tell you the truth, I don't blame them. Uh, I never seen such a bunch of cowards as this town's got. Well, Hickok will be along soon. You'll see a man. That's what I come to talk to you about, Pappy. Ain't heard from him, have you? Nothing to hear about. He'll just show up, that's all. Well, I hope so. What's the matter? What are you so worried about? Pappy, I was out riding earlier today. I seen a lot of dust rising out of Devil's Pass, and you know what that means. Jennings and his gang's out riding again. They're going to strike someplace, that's for sure. I was expecting this. Been too quiet lately. The calm before the storm. Maybe they're going to ride into Portersfield. Maybe Canyon City. Or here. Well, don't just stand there. Let's round up some men. Hey, hey, listen to that, Pappy. Horses, and lots of them. Pete Jennings and his gang. They're shooting up the town. Hey, look, you can see them out the window. Keep away from that window, boy. Hey, they're not more than a few feet away from the building here, Pappy. You can see Pete Jennings as clear as day. And take a couple of boys and clean out that bank. Anybody gets in your way, make them sorry. They're robbing the bank, Sheriff. Well, don't just stand there. Do something. There's eight men out there, mean men. When I step out that door alone, I'll have a hole in me quicker than that can bat his eye. Packy, take the boys and see what money you can find in the store. If anybody goes for a gun, you know what to do. Well, I don't care none about you, Sheriff. You stay inside here and protect your skin. I've had enough of this from that Jennings outfit. Give me that rifle. Don't be a fool, Pappy. You're an old man. I may be old, but I ain't no coward like the rest of the so-called men in this town. Uh, this Winchester will teach that Jennings coyote a thing or two. Don't go out that door, Pappy. Wait till Hickok gets here. He'll know what to do. Hey, please, Pappy. The sheriff's right. Come back. Jennings. Pete Jennings. Huh? Get back inside that office, old man. We've had enough of you and your kind about these parts, Jennings. And now I'm going to take care of you. Why, you stupid old... Oh, Pappy. Hey, Sheriff. Jennings shot him. He's lying on the ground. All right, then. Come on. Let's clear out. <laughs> Now, come on, son, let's take a look at Pappy. Yes, sir. Pappy. Pappy, you all right? I, I missed him, my sheriff. I, I clean missed him. My eyes ain't what they used to be at all. Pappy. 
Pappy. Pappy. Easy, son, easy. Is he dead, Sheriff? Is my grandpappy dead? I don't know, Clay, but I do know that Jennings gang has started something that nobody can stop. Listen here, Wranglers. We got a mighty big Wild Bill Hickok show to do. So if you listen real close, I'm going to make this kind of short. Telling about corn pops is as simple as this. Kellogg's corn pops are the two-way cereal. You eat them out of the box or out of the bowl. They're already sweetened for you. Just dig in and enjoy them right out of the box. But come breakfast time, you eat them in a bowl with a little milk. Now, no sugar, mind you. No, sir, this sweetening's already on corn pops, and plenty of it. They're sweet, crisp, and crunchy, and mighty good for growing young ranch hands. Say, and that silvery bag inside keeps corn pops fresh up to ten times longer. It's made of pure aluminum, and it's really nice for storing foods in the refrigerator, too. So if you aren't already settled back enjoying Kellogg's corn pops right now, get a load of them tomorrow. You'll need plenty, because the whole family's going to be getting into them and maybe leave you without enough. <laughs> well, that's just about the whole story. Kids love pops, moms love pops, and pops love pops. Now, let's listen. <laughs> Now, let's get back to Wild Bill Hickok and his pal Jingles. They've ridden into Flat Rock City and were immediately told of the Pete Jennings gang shooting up the town and shooting down Pappy Sparks. Pappy's in the bedroom here, Mr. Hickok. Thanks, Clay. Come on, Jingles. Let's see the old fella. Hey, Pappy, look who's here. Bill. Wild Bill. Hi, old timer. I knew you'd come. I sure as shooting did. Pappy? This is my sidekick, Jingles. Howdy, Howdy Jingles. Baby. Well, what's this we hear about you trying to let daylight through Pete Jennings? Oh, uh, I would have, too, if I was a mite younger. As it was, he parted my hair instead. I was out for some time, but when I come to, my feelings ain't changed. Somebody's got to get that Pete Jennings gang behind bars, and you're the man to do it. Well, what about the sheriff in Flat Rock City, Pappy? Seems to me he could be doing something about it. Uh, he's worse than nothing. I resent that remark, Pappy. I resent it all you want, Sheriff. If you wasn't sprawled out there in the bed like that, Hey, I'd... hey, he's off you two. You're supposed to be fighting the Jennings gang, not each other. That's what I'm trying to get him to do, but he won't raise a finger. That ain't fair, Pappy, and you know it. There's nothing unfair about it. A man fights for his rights, that's why. <laughs> they don't need a marshal, they need a referee. <laughs> Here's the situation, Marshal. I can't get a posse together. The Jennings gang got the town scared out of its wit. They're mean, and I don't mind admitting it. They're the meanest outfits I ever seen. Well, knowing Pete Jennings, I can believe it. Fact is, the town folks hope if they leave the Jennings gang alone that the, they'll leave the town alone. Hmm. Fat chance. They busted into town today, didn't they? And they'll do it again. You can't count out of no bad man or he'll have you crawling in the mud. And that's what this town's doing. Yeah, Pappy's right in a way. But folks are scared. And it's hard to blame them. Killing comes as natural to that Jennings outfit as breathing. Well, then it's time they stopped breathing. Where they hold up, Sheriff? Devil's Mountain. They don't care who knows it. There's one trail in and one trail out. Take an army to roust them out. Come on, Jingles. Well, where are we going now, Bill? Take a look at Devil's Mountain. Take care of Pappy, Clay. Sure will, Mr. Hickok. And don't go fussing, Pappy. Rest up like the doc said and you'll be okay. Rest up? Who can rest up now? Not when Wild Bill Hickok's going to teach the men in this town how to be men. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be something to see. Well, there's Devil Mountain yonder, Bill. Looks as mean to me as a wet bobcat. Sure does, Jingles. Well, if those coyotes are dug in there like the sheriff says, don't know how we can ever get them out. There's a way, Jingles. There always is. Wild Bill Hickok, sharpshooter, marshal, and optimist. Well, you got to look at the rosy side, Jingles. Come on, let's ride up that ridge there. We'll look at Devil's Mountain from the side over there. We can work our way up that trail over there, Bill, and... Hey, hey, somebody shot my hat off. Nobody else but me, Pete Jennings. 
There he is, Jingle, standing up there on those rocks. Yeah, with a smoking Winchester in his hand. I'll learn him to put holes in people's hats. Hold it, Jingles. He's got the drop on us. Hiya, Hickok. Hiya, Jingles. Hiya yourself, you no-good lily-livered polecat. Ease up, Jingles. That's no way to talk to me. Remember, I'm the one who's holding a gun. I'll talk any way I like. What's the idea of putting a hole in my new hat? Cost me $20. Might as well put a hole in a $20 bill, you... That's better than putting a hole in you, wouldn't you say? And I could have done it just as easy. Huh? Never mind the talk, Jennings. What's on your mind? Thing or two. And don't make the mistake of going for your gun. I got some of my boys hiding up in the rocks just waiting for you to do that. You got something to say, Jennings. Say it while you can. Then be on your way. But you might as well know I'm coming after you. That's exactly what we're going to talk about. I don't like you coming after me. <laughs> me and my boys got a good setup here. We got a hideout in the mountains. It's like a fort. And we don't want no interference from anyone, especially you. Well, you're going to get it, Jennings, whether you want it or not. From Hickok and from me, too. And, and you know what? Before it's all over, you're going to pay me $20 for my new hat. Can't you shut this man up, Hickok, so we can talk business? They've got no business to talk. All right, now, Hickok, listen to me. I want you to spin your mounts around and take that left trail there and ride into the sunset out of Flack Rot City. And if we don't? <laughs> well, I'm not going to be fool enough to say I'll drill you, because I know nobody scares Wild Bill Hickok that way. I got a better scheme, and you might as well know it. If you ain't gone by sunup, I'm going to take me two hostages from Flat Rock City. I always knew you were lower than a skunk, but take an innocent folk. Let him talk, Jingles. And oh. if you ain't gone by the next day, two more hostages, women and kids. Don't matter none to me. Now, think that one over, Wild Bill Hickok. <laughs> Quiet down. Let's get some sense out of this meeting. <clears throat> Marshal Hickok has told you about his meeting with Pete Jennings, and he's told you what Jennings said. Now the Marshal has put it up to you. He wants to stay, but he wants you to know it's dangerous. Well, I got something to say in the matter, Sheriff. All right. All right, Mr. Jagger. Let's hear your piece. Well, I, I say it's too downright dangerous. Jennings means what he says. I'm in favor of the Marshal leaving right now, tonight. Yeah. Now, hold on, hold on. Anybody else got anything to say? Darn tootin', someone else has got something to say. Hey, what's Pappy, doing? why aren't you in bed? You shouldn't be up yet. It's a darn good thing I did get up. Is everybody around here yellow? The marshal's here to fight Jennings and his gang. We can't send him away. Jennings and his gang can't be fought against. They're too strong. Oh, that's poppycock. That's what they want you to believe. Oh, sure, it's all right for you to talk, Pappy. You're an old man. But we got women folks and kids. And we know Pete Jennings isn't fooling when he says he's going to take them as hostages. I got a young'un, too. I got my grandson, Clay. And I sure ain't going to teach him how to be a coward. Well, let's yeah, go. Let's yeah, take let's right now. Okay. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. This is getting out of hand. Let's have a vote on the matter. Uh, you yeah. right. Now, the question is, shall Marshal Hickok and his partner Jingles leave town by sunup, like Pete Jennings says... Or shall they stay on and try to figure out a way to get the Jennings gang in spite of the danger of hostages? All who says the marshal shall leave, say aye. Aye! All who says he should stay, say aye. Aye. You're the only one, Pappy. And I reckon that's it. That's it, all right. It was a Democratic vote. You mean you're going to leave, Bill? Not much else to do, is there? Folks want me to go. Think it's safer that way. They think they can work out some kind of a settlement with Jennings. They can't work out no such thing. Well, maybe not, but everybody voted. Jingles and I are going to leave. So long, old-timer. Well, reckon that's the last we'll see the town of Flat Rock City. Reckon. Don't make no sense to me, no how. Spend two days of hard riding to get here and then just turn around and leave without doing nothing. Bill, are you sure you're feeling all right? I'm feeling fine, Jingles. Well, you sure don't act it. Turning tail without a fight? 
Well, that's what it looks like you're doing. Does it? Well, I admit there's danger to the folks of Flat Rock City if we stayed, but there's always danger when you're fighting polecats. This trail here, Jingles. Get over, boy. Over. Well, maybe you figured the town folks ain't worth saving since they don't want to do nothing about it themselves. Don't figure that at all. Matter of fact, I figure they need saving more than ever. They're scared and need saving not only from Pete Jennings and his gang, but also from themselves. Yeah, well, then why don't Let's you... Let's make for that clump of cottonwoods. Cottonwoods? What for? Hey, now, this ain't the trail out of town. This trail doubles back and... What's that, somebody whistling? And you whistle back. What's going on here? Doggone it, nobody tells me nothing. They're over here, Bill. Hey, that's Pappy. Well, what's he doing out here in the middle of the night? Come on, and you'll find out. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Hi, Marshal. Hello, Jingle. Hello, Mr. Hickok. The sheriff and Clay, too. Doggone, looks like we're having a convention. Pull the horses into the brush, Jingles. We don't want to be spotted. Oh, here, I'll give you a hand, Jingles. <clears throat> well, somebody better give me more than a hand. Somebody better give me some information. Everything all set, Bill? Yeah, I guess so, Pappy. You got the horses hidden? Yeah, they're tucked in so good an eagle couldn't spot them with a spyglass. I brought the dynamite along just like you told me to do, Marshal. Good. And I brought my old army bugle. But I can't figure out what you'd want with it. You'll see. Dynamite bugle? I'm going to bust if somebody doesn't... You didn't doesn't... think that Wild Bill was just going to ride out of town without helping us none, did you? No, I couldn't believe that, but it sure looked like we were riding out of town. Yeah, that's what I wanted everybody to think, including Pete Jennings and his gang. And Bill planned ahead a time for us to meet him here. I can figure that out all right. I ain't ignorant. But, Bill, the folks voted that you leave, and you can't go against the way they voted. You forget, Jingles. They voted for us to be out of here by sunup. Yes, sir. And we still got some hours of darkness for that. We got dynamite and a bugle, and Bill's got a plan. I don't know what it is. But, Jingles, I'll bet a silver saddle against that shot-up hat of yours. It's a corker. What we're going to do, men, is charge the Jennings gang in their hideout. What? With just a few of us? Right. Now, here's the way I got it planned. We're going to surprise them. Oh, it'll be dangerous, of course, but the first thing... Hey, Pete. Pete, wake up. What? What, what is it? Wake What's up. the idea of waking me up in the middle of the night? I just seen something you've got to know about, Pete. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, what is it, then? Make it snappy. I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> You won't be going back to sleep after I tell you this. Hickok and Jingles didn't leave town like we thought. Huh? I saw them take the trail that doubled back toward town. And if you ask me, they're planning on surprising us tonight. That's it, all right. Wake up the boys. Yeah, sure. Put half of them on the back trail to guard it. The other half on the front trail. All right. If Hickok and that partner of his think they're surprising us tonight, they're going to be surprised with lead. <laughs> You know, buckaroos, I get to laughing at myself sometimes. When it comes time for me to say a few words about Kellogg's corn pops, I catch myself right on the edge of my chair. I get all riled up at the bad fellas and want to help Wild Bill and Jingle so much I, I almost butt in and join the shooting. <laughs> you know, instead of that, I take it out on my corn pops, chomping on them as fast as my jaws will work. Yep, right out of the box is the way I eat my corn pops because the sweetening's already on them. Come morning, though, I go for corn pops at breakfast in a bowl with milk. Hey, but back up there, hold the sugar, partner. The sweetening's already on corn pops, and milk is all you need. And Kellogg's corn pops, delicious as they are, contain lots of things that are good for you. B vitamins, vitamin D, with important minerals and food energy, too. That means you can eat all you want of those golden hearts of corn puffed up big and crisp. Yes, sir. The best cereal of all and already sweetened for you are Kellogg's Corn Pops. You know who loves Pops. Let's say it together. Kids love Pops. Moms love Pops. And Pops love Pops. <laughs> right. Now back on the edge of my chair for Wild Bill Hickok. <laughs> Now, let's get back to today's Wild Bill Hickok story. Bill, as we know, is planning on storming the outlaw stronghold in Devil's Mountain. 
But what he doesn't know is that Pete Jennings is planning something himself. What time do you say it was then? Uh, it's about two, I'd say, if I can judge by that move. Yeah, we've been waiting like this for over two hours. Seems like it's been two days. Yeah, and I don't like it. Yeah, me neither. And the boys are getting kind of edgy, too. You sure you saw Haycock double back to town? Well, of course I'm sure. I wouldn't say I did if I didn't. Well, something funny's going on. Where are they? I figured sure they'd be busting up here by now with guns blazing. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe they ain't gonna come. Maybe they ain't crazy enough to think they can attack us in this stronghold. Yeah, maybe not. Sure seems like a foolish thing to do. Yeah. Hey, what's that? Well, that, that sounds like a dynamite blast. Dynamite? But who would be blasting this time of night? There it goes again. What in thunder's going on? Hey, Pete. Yeah, what is it, Blackie? Someone's blasting the back trail. <laughs> Mountains are coming down. The whole trail is closed in solid. What's that mean, Pete? I don't know. Well, at least it means Hickok and his partner can't come in that way since it's closed up solid. But it also means we can't get out. Yeah, but why? A, a bugle. That's the army charge call. The army? Yeah. Well, where'd it come from? Come well, I don't know. Charge! Wait a minute, that Hickok's voice. He's leading the charge. Well, how can we fight against the U.S. Army? And there ain't no escape. The back trail's blocked in by that blast. Yeah, and the boys are throwing down their guns. Well, they can give up, but I ain't. Give me that right. Put down that Winchester, Jennings. And that's Hickok. He's right above us. Let me get a shot at him. Oh, my arm. Get him, Jennings. Ain't no man ever lived fast enough to outshoot the wild Bill Hickok. All right, you men. Line up. Jingles, take the guns. I've considered a pleasure. Come on, you hombres. Kick those guns over here. All right, Hickok, you got us, but it took the U.S. Army to do it. The U.S. Army. <laughs> Are these coyotes in for a surprise? You want to meet the U.S. Army, Jennings? Come here, Clay. Here I am, Mr. Hickok. Show these gents a bugle, Clay. That was the U.S. Army, Jennings. Uh, and us, too, the sheriff and me. Why, you you tricked us, you... He sure did. Your whole pack of bad men captured by three men, an old-timer and a kid. <laughs> Pete Jennings, you ought to hide your head in shame. Sheriff, I want to apologize to you. You're not a nanny goat at all. You done real well. Well, thank you, Pappy. And the folks of Flat Rock City will do well to learn from you and from Wild Bill Hickok. Even though you're outnumbered, you got to fight for your rights. And you'll get them. Come on, Sheriff. I'll help you take these men to the lockup. Come on, you polecats. Move along. Now. Get uh, hey, 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 now, just a minute. I almost forgot something. Right. Now, let me at that Pete Jennings. Hey, 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 take your hands off of me. What are you doing? Just fishing in your pocket Why, for you... something. Now, let me see. Is it in... <laughs> And here's what I want. Hey, that's a $20 bill. Why, Pete, that ain't money. That's my brand new hat. <laughs> and now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison, and Andy Devine. Well, folks, hope you'll be around again next week. Doggone it, Guy. Why can't we find a nice, quiet town with law and order and plenty of good eats? I don't know about the eats, but you can bet we'll find trouble. Trouble, trouble, always trouble. Guy, I gotta have food with my fighting. All right, Andy. All you have to do is remember to load up with Kellogg's Corn Pops. Hey, sure. It's the great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. You bet it is. Andy and I think Corn Pops are great. So long. See you next week. <laughs> yes, sir. Be sure to listen next week at this same time on this same station when Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Colleen Collins, Barton Yarborough, Fred Shields, Stan Farrar, Bill Boucher, and Jack Moyles. Our director is Paul Pierce, music by Dick O'Rant. This is a David Heyer production. This is Charlie Lyon reminding you, kids love pops, moms love pops, pops love pops, Kellogg's Corn Pops. <laughs>
Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe.